and we're standing by. We can see the crew members back. Any idea who it is yet? Scott Kelly. Scott Kelly, back on Mother Earth after 340 days in space. Wow, I just got the chills. And look at him, he can actually move. That means he had been doing his exercises. I wonder if he can actually even walk, though. That will be, uh, I'm interested to find out. You know, because you've been up there. They walk on the treadmill and stuff, but... No, I know you've been really motionless. <laughs> if you think about it, I was yeah, much walking the, around. We just do in the studio in the morning. It's, it's incredible, but great, glad to see him back. That it is. Astronaut Scott Kelly back on solid ground after spending nearly a year aboard the International Space Station, posting daily photos from his 250 miles above No Earth. question, the best seat in the world yes. to witness some of Mother Nature's most amazing feats. Yes. Carl Parker has a look at some of the greatest images. He's seen the Earth and its weather like few have before. Witnessing a blanket of snow during winter storm Jonas. So much snow, even the bright lights of cities pale beneath it. He even saw one of our favorites, thunder snow. Witnessing tropical storms and hurricanes from above and all along the way, stopping to take a few artistic selfies. Spotting two huge dust storms, this one enveloping the Gobi Desert, and the Red Sea covered by a cloud of dust as it sweeps off the coast. You may hear a lot about the polar vortex, but we don't usually get to see it. Kelly said it looked cold even from space. His incredible views from around the world. Even something deadly can be beautiful, like these rip currents off the coast of Mozambique. How about this thunderstorm with a brilliant flash of lightning over Italy? But not all his images show Earth in a great light, like this cloud of heavy pollution in the Himalayas, contrasted by the brilliant white snow-covered foothills in Iran. The Earth appears in incredible colors from space. Kelly calls this one African Violet, his year of unforgettable images from space, a year counted in 5,440 laps around the planet, logging 143.8 million miles. The images remain unforgettable.